Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's Tech Tip, we'll be showing you a technique that you can use in the Gamma Spec Suite software to export out different geometric elements and section outlines based on your mesh data here in order to then use it in a 3D CAD software such as SolidWorks for reverse engineering purposes. So as you can see here, the part that I have is a simple round symmetrical part. We have some defining features such as these holes around the perimeter, this main hole down the center, as well as this cutout along the middle section here. So if we wanted to take this scan data and use it in order to create a CAD model using solid geometry that best represents this data, what we can do in the Gamma Spec Suite software is actually create different elements that give us the either the shape or the size of certain features and then export out those elements as IGES files which are neutral file formats that can be used in any CAD software and then used as a basis or reference for modeling. So let's go ahead and show you how you can set that up in Gamma Spec Suite. So first, in order to line up our part with the global coordinate system, I'm just going to create an initial alignment using the 3, 2, 1 method. So with this method, I can select three points for my Z plane. I can select two points for my Y plane. And then all that's left to do is just select a single point where I will have my X point. Now that I've done that, we should have an alignment that's fairly representative of the normal features of this part. So with that said, now I have three different planes, X, Y, and Z planes that I can use. And we're going to make use of those planes in order to get cross sections or section outlines of the part here. So in this case, let's start with the Y plane that goes down the middle here and then I can select all of my mesh data and you can see it's showing me a preview of the section outline it's going to create. I'll create that and we can see that there very clearly. Let's take another one. I'm going to now take it on the x-axis and then I will place it right down the middle here. Create that and let's get one more using the Z plane and I'll set that up just around here so I can get the profiles of each of these holes. So now we have three different section outlines based on those three different planes that I used and the existing mesh geometry that I can now use as a reference model to then create my CAD model from in my CAD software. So in order to export these, all I have to do, simply select them, go to the export menu, go to geometries, and then IGES is one of the options here. So now I can either choose to export all of this in a single file or multiple files. So I'll just select multiple files, and then I will go ahead and then save that in. And now if I open up that folder, I have three different IGES files that were created. And each of those files will contain each of the respective section outlines that we created. So now I'm going to switch over to SolidWorks. Let's just see what happens when we load one of these IGES elements in. And we can see that SolidWorks has brought in this outline. And what I can do then is create, for example, a 3D sketch convert the entities to create the splines and then now I can use these as building blocks to then model my full CAD geometry. So that's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.